Jake is nine. He likes to go hiking with his family, tell creative stories, and play with Skylanders. Jake also has attention concerns. This makes it difficult for him to make the progress he's capable of because he has trouble paying attention. This was a pattern we noticed in his speech language therapy as well. And ultimately, it was this difficulty that inspired our research. Jake's clinicians were familiar with canine assisted therapy, ironically abbreviated CAT. I know, you're thinking, how is bringing a dog into the room going to help a child to focus? Well, CAT involves the use of a trained animal and its handler, as well as the child and therapist. It's not a time for the child to play with the dog. Rather, the animal will sit quietly at the child's feet and therapy is conducted as usual. So what did our study look like? This was a single subject design, looking at the results for one child. We were interested in two questions. First, will the use of CAT affect the number of redirections to task required? And second, will CAT affect the total number of minutes spent on task? Our intervention occurred over a period of 10 weeks. The therapy dog, Maddie, was present weeks four through eight. During this time, we were measuring the number of times Jake needed to be redirected back to task, as well as the number of minutes per session spent in off-task behaviors. Jake required a lot of verbal redirections, such as Jake's, come sit back down with me, as well as nonverbal redirections, like tapping his chair to indicate that he should sit back down. During the first three weeks, we noticed that Jake had a tendency to become very distracted in activities he disliked often yelling, crying, or moving to a corner of the room by himself. After this, Jake was very difficult to redirect to any task. But as a part of CAT, Jake was allowed to reach down and pet Maddie as a way of calming himself. And this was not considered off-task behavior as it was a part of the intervention itself. Our results were really exciting. We noticed that Jake tended to be in a pleasant mood and much calmer when Maddie came to speech. His number of redirections to tasks fluctuated from week to week, regardless of whether Maddie was present. However, it was shown that in the weeks that Maddie came to speech, Jake spent fewer minutes off task and returned to task much more quickly. After hours of analyzing our data, we determined that in more than 50% of Jake's sessions with Maddie, he spent fewer minutes off task in even his best session without her. This tells us this treatment for this child was an effective one. So why does all of this matter? Because CAT has the potential to help children like Jake to make the progress they're capable of. Thank you.